So I'm here in Glasgow with Grant Campbell, who is partly responsible for the running of the City Mission, which I've heard a lot about, but I've never actually been. Grant, I wonder if you could just give me a picture of who homeless people are in Glasgow, as a general profile of who we're dealing with here. Um, people who are homeless in Glasgow can come from a variety of different backgrounds. One of the tragedies is actually we can map from really early on when children are quite young that they could well end up in poverty or in homelessness and that's quite sad knowing that fact. We work with a lot of people who have got complex needs and predominantly we're working with a group who are Glaswegian men in their 40s, long term unemployed. The people that we would see were often caught up with addiction issues that need additional support. Um, but tragically, people can be homeless from any background. I wonder if you could just tell me very briefly what City Mission actually does for homeless people. Um, within this building, we run a number of services to firstly meet immediate needs. So often people will come and they will, they will gather. We've got food and we've got you know, meals that we will provide for people. But more often than not, we were working with people to help build up their confidence. People actually say the number one reason they come to us is because they're lonely. Relationship breakdown is the number one reason for homelessness. Mm -hmm. And actually addiction issues you know, are um, a consequence of that, where people are hiding um, or trying to find a coping mechanism for that. So um, people will come and they'll gather here because they want company. They want to be with friends. And we want to take that time to support them to build up their confidence. So there's there's art classes here, there's a gym, there's a computer suite that we've got here, there's cooking classes that we run. Um, there's some of the basic needs of a food bank as well as lunches and evening meals that we provide. Um, there's a hairdresser, There's um, um, we've got opticians that drop in and support us as well as Govan Law Centre, provide legal advocacy for folks. So it's become a real gathering, a real hub where we can try and support people to move forward. So you've been talking about solutions for homeless people and people sleeping rough on the streets. Um, you've talked about housing first. Sounds really interesting. I wonder if you could just tell me broadly what it actually is. Um, housing first um, is quite simply, when we bump into people who are homeless, is to say, we're going to provide for you a home right at the start of the whole journey. Too often in, in previous models, we've asked people to qualify from one system to the next to the next before they get that stable home. And too often the people that we see in Glasgow as they go round in a circular motion in and out of different services. The services often they use are police, um, prison, um, accident and emergency, charities, social work, um, maybe temporary, um, temporary accommodation, rehab units. What Housing First does right at the start is it says we're going to get you accommodation and then we're going to wrap around in that accommodation the support that you need to sustain your tenancy and to, to not just survive but to really thrive and to live. And that's been really successful models in, the North, in North America as well as in Norway and Sweden and Denmark. And so I'm quite excited about it as it's raising its profile in Glasgow mm -hmm. as a real potential solution, even with those with really complex needs, to provide a way forward to integrate people into society rather than all being in, the, in a rehab unit or in, in support accommodation. They're actually living as part of our community. As a Glasgow MSP, I'm obviously very interested in what's happening here in the city of Glasgow when it comes to homeless people. I'd like to know how well is Glasgow doing and not so well? Does it have the solutions we really need? Are we moving forward in the city of Glasgow looking after homeless people? Um, a number of years ago, Glasgow was well known for failing in its statutory duty. The Scottish Housing Regulator really took um, the local authority to task on that. But I have to say, in the four years that I've been here, we've been on a significant uh, journey um, with the council, with many of the providers within Glasgow, to look at the problem afresh, um, almost because it was so broken, to say, right, let's start again, let's find a blank piece of paper, and to look at research from all over the world to try and say what really works and what do we need to be doing. And so we're trying to work with um, the Health Social Care Partnership, work with many other providers, providing positive solutions. An example of that is this year for the first time ever at our emergency winter night shelter, Health and Social Care provided caseworkers 
for us to immediately assess people when they came in and to get them accommodation. And we, we can almost deliver that within hours. When people come in, we can get them into accommodation. So we're not <coughs> far from providing a service within Glasgow where we can, we can um, meet people, assess them and support them into accommodation. And, and housing first seems to be quite dominant in people's thinking. Mm -hmm. So when, when the general public are walking around the streets, they're going to see a lot of people still sleeping rough and the general public are, are really showing, I think, genuine concern about what's going on. And while we're not there by any stretch of imagination, I'm really quite hopeful over the next year or so that we'll actually be able to see services that work for people.